everything is made of dirt. This pot is made out of dirt. Because it's made out of ceramic, it came from clay, which basically is rocks that have disintegrated over time and been deposited by rivers. I then shaped it, fired it, and now I have a useful object made out of dirt. You, right now, are watching this video either on a computer or you're watching it on a phone or your tablet. And this, too, is made of dirt. What's in this? You've got plastic components. Probably this back cover seems to be made of plastic. The screen is probably a composite polymer or maybe actually glass. Everything that was here was once some type of rock or another that was then processed and changed by human hands into the form that you see it now. You go to the glass. Glass is made of sand, it's silica, with some other things. And then that's processed. So every single thing in your device that you're watching this on right now, every pixel, is made of dirt. Now, the question is, how many steps did it take and could you do it yourself? This has been a question that has intrigued me for years. What would it take to rebuild civilization from scratch? We started out with the Stone Age, right? So people were directly using rocks and dirt to make clay pots and stone tools and other things. And eventually, we got clever. We figured out that it was possible to convert very special kinds of earth into metals. What I like to call the dirt perspective is incredibly useful. When you see an object, you don't just see the object itself. You see the chain of events that made the object what it is. When you see this pot, you don't just see a pot. You don't just see a water vessel. You see the process that created it, and you see it all the way back to the natural resource. In the modern world, there are so many steps for every single object that we use, including the phone that you're watching this on, that it's hard to parse, and it's easy to get disconnected with the origins of things. However, that perspective looking back can lead to some really fascinating things. In an upcoming series, we'll show you more about how we made this, about the kiln that we made, and further experiments with trying to understand pottery, one of the simplest of the crafts that can go straight back to dirt. And later, we'll show you smelting, which will take it to a whole new level. If you want to continue with us to learn how everything was made and to learn more about the philosophical and material underpinnings of our modern world, please subscribe below. It's that big red button, it doesn't cost you a dime. And if you click the like button, we'd greatly appreciate it.